Hi, my name is Dr. Brian Scottco. I'm the Emma Campbell Endowed Chair on Down Syndrome at Massachusetts General Hospital and Associate Professor at Harvard Medical School. I am so excited you're joining me today because we have just democratized health and wellness for people with Down Syndrome, no matter where you live around the globe. We are making sure that your loved one with Down Syndrome has access to the most up-to-date information about health and wellness. In short, we are now coming to you, so you no longer need to make the trip to one of the Down Syndrome specialty clinics around the globe. And I'm so excited to tell you about our new online platform we've launched called Down Syndrome Clinic to You, which will again bring personal care plan for your loved one with Down Syndrome for both you, the caregivers, and the primary care doctors. Why did we create this? We were really inspired by so many parents around the world who have told us over and over again that they worry the medical establishment has passed them by. Pat Bauer, such a mother, says, in an era where the offer of prenatal testing is universal and the termination of pregnancies involving Down syndrome is commonplace, families of people with Down syndrome often say they worry the medical establishment has passed them by. They feel marginalized, unseen, and unserved. Families of people with Down syndrome don't want admiration. They don't want pity. They feel a critical and urgent need for adequate health care for their loved ones. You know, in the United States, we have 71 Down syndrome specialty clinics. This is like the clinic I get to run at Massachusetts General Hospital. But here's the uncomfortable truth. All of our 71 specialty clinics at maximum capacity can only serve less than 5% of the population of people with Down syndrome in our country alone. That means 95% of people with Down syndrome in the United States do not have access to a specialty clinic, including my own sister, Kristen here, who lives in Cleveland and needs to travel nearly two hours to get to our closest Down syndrome specialty clinic. And I know that Down syndrome specialty clinics are even more rare across the country. And so it's with this in mind and around the world, we wanted to make sure that we could bring our knowledge set about Down syndrome to everyone around the globe, no matter where you live. You know, you might say, well, my son or daughter, my loved one with Down syndrome does see a primary care physician and they're great and they seem terrific. But the reality is most primary care physicians have one or two patients with Down syndrome in their practice. So it is unreasonable and impractical to think that they could stay up to date on all of the specialty care. Study after study shows that when left with primary care physicians, less than 10% of people with Down syndrome are up to date on the most basic healthcare screening recommendations that come from the American Academy of Pediatrics. This is not to throw darts at hardworking primary care physicians, but instead to point out the reality that unless you take care of lots of people with Down syndrome, it's tough to stay up to date on the medical recommendations. This is why we put together and worked for three years to create a virtual platform in order to address that need, which was funded through a grant from our government in the United States. It was created with the team at Massachusetts General Hospital, including our software engineers, but we also involved some of our national experts, people who have written the healthcare guidelines for people with Down syndrome, who have written the books that we all reference and look to. But we also wanted to create something that was resonating with the people we wanted to serve. And that is primary care physicians who might have one or two patients with Down syndrome in their panel, we involved them in the creation of this. You can see them represented here. And parents, parents who have loved ones with Down syndrome from the beginning to the end of this project was involved in the creation to make sure that our output, our outcomes resonated with what valued most to families. So right now it is launched Down Syndrome Clinic to you. If you want to get out your phones or your iPads right now and visit it, I don't mind. It is mobile optimized. It is available 24 hours, seven days a week, no matter where you live, as long as you have internet access. It is direct to consumer and available entirely in English and in Spanish. I wanna give you a scope of how this works. So if you go to Down Syndrome Clinic to you and you say, I am interested, you'll get access to an intake form. And in this intake form, we're gonna ask you questions that the answers to which might add up in combination to some important recommendations for your loved one with Down syndrome. We also have heard loud and clear from families, you don't like completing forms. So we have branching logic, which means immediately after the first section, we know if you have a 40 year old with Down syndrome and we need to ask the adult questions, 
Or if you answer, you have a four-year-old with Down syndrome, we'll ask you the younger questions related to people with Down syndrome. So we customize the entire experience from beginning to end. You can see there's 10 sections on the left. You don't need to complete all of them, but the more you complete, the more specific feedback you're going to get from our team that created this. So in section number two, we'll be asking you about some of the medical concerns that we you might have for your loved one with Down syndrome. You can see there's no fill in the blank. There's no type your answer. It's all check boxes, which makes it mobile optimized. You could do it on your phone. You could do it on your iPad. We also know that the combination of these responses might add up to something significant that we need to recommend for your loved one with Down syndrome. For example, if you say you have an eight-year-old with Down syndrome who's snoring at night and tired during the day, we know that those three combination of variables might mean obstructive sleep apnea, and that then um, programs us to give you the output of going to get a sleep study. Section number three is all about behaviors. We know that people with Down syndrome oftentimes have co-occurring mental health issues, and the combination of these behavioral questions and your answers to them will allow us to give you some customized responses. And this is a screenshot to show everything with a click of a button can be converted into Spanish. I'm not gonna go through every section on the left, but you can see we also have a nutrition and swallowing section. We have a Down syndrome nutrition specialist in our clinic and rather than coming to Boston to see her, we have programmed her questions and her responses in here. So you're going to get that nutrition grade recommendations from our nutritionist. And just as much as our in-person Down syndrome clinic is more than just a medical clinic, it's a health and wellness clinic. We also have a section about school therapy and resources. Oftentimes I've asked Dr. Scott how best to teach math to people with Down syndrome. How can we promote people with Down syndrome from getting better jobs? How can people with Down syndrome live on their own? What are some ways we could plan for the financial futures of people with Down syndrome? We have all of those answers to those tough questions programmed into Down syndrome clinic too, as though we would be answering them in person. We also ask you what's already been done. We don't wanna duplicate any of the hard efforts. So we're going to be asking um, what past has been done so we could build on that. We also have a section on life skills checklists. We worked hard with families and advocates with Down syndrome in order to develop resources so they could be as semi-independent as they could possibly be in the future. So once they start reaching those teenage years, we have a section asking about can they bathe on their own? Can they do their own laundry? Can they take public transportation? And if the answer is we want to work on that, I'll show you what the responses are. When you get through this entire section and you press submit, that's when the magic happens. Because when you press submit, there is no one at Mass General Hospital who is going to individually review your answers. Instead, they're going through pages and pages of algorithms that we worked years on to put together in order to give you immediate feedback. So as soon as you press submit, you will get immediate feedback and immediate access to your own DSC to you portal. In this portal, there will be section one, which is a checklist for you, the caregiver. Section two is going to be a checklist for the primary care physician who works with your loved one with Down syndrome. In the upper right-hand corner with the click of a button, you could change to Spanish and you could also download any of these reports so that you could print them out and or email them to other people in your loved one's lives, including their primary care physician. Let me give you an example of what might be on a sample caregiver checklist for our sample patient, Molly. You can see here's a list of medical um, items that Molly should get done based on the responses that her mom put in. You can see she's due for an eye exam, due for a celiac screen, due for a sleep study. There are some parents who told us, if you're gonna make these recommendations, I wanna know exactly why. So after every recommendation, you could see there is a green button. So if we were to click on the green button after a thyroid function test, you will see you get direct input on why we're making those recommendations. So you indicate in the past 12 months, Molly has not had her thyroid levels drawn and individuals with Down syndrome have a significant risk of developing thyroid problems, which are important to treat. And experts recommend everyone with Down syndrome have their thyroid levels checked annually. And then when we make these recommendations, we also have in blue hyperlinks access to credible medical information that is already available online. So that first link will take you to a video that's available for free all about thyroid and Down syndrome so that parents can understand. And the second link will take you to a fact sheet 
all about endocrine issues available for people with Down syndrome. Again, these are out there, but no one knows to how to find them or to look for them. So we've curated all of the credible medical information and we will customize it and deliver it to you when it is most appropriate. The next section is all those co-occurring conditions that might go along with Down syndrome. There are hundreds of things that might appear here, but again, we're customizing them based on how Molly's mom responded to those intake questions. You can see Molly might also have a co-occurring condition of depression, and we have pointed out here what Molly's mom said that makes us suggest that this could be a possibility. We've also heard loud and clear from caregivers, you don't have time to read whole books. So we try whenever possible to give exact chapters, exact pages to go to. So you can see here, going to chapter 14 of this book is all about the most up-to-date, credible information about depression and Down syndrome. You can see there's lots of other medical conditions that could appear here. This is what we're trained to do in our clinic. And again, we're going to bring those to your attention as the symptoms indicate on those intake form. And we're more than just medical uh, conditions. We're all about health and wellness. You could see Molly wants to talk about uh, oral contraceptive pills, dating and boundaries, puberty, weight management. We all have program there. Her mother did complete the nutrition section. So just like if she were to see our nutritionist in person, we're gonna make specific recommendations based on her diet, knowing that nutrition is so important for people with Down syndrome. Molly also is old enough, she wants to gain those life skills to make her as semi-independent as possible. There's a whole list of things she could have chosen. These are the ones she's prioritized. So you can see here, she does wanna learn how to use public transportation on her own. And with a simple click there, it will take her to this free workbook, this social story that she could print out and complete with her parent in English and or Spanish, where she could start training to be able to use public transportation on her own. Again, we are bringing the resources to you when you need it. There's all sections about education, how best you teach math, Molly wants a job, what are some resources for her to be able to get jobs, and what are some access to some great resources available for free that Molly's um, parents could access. And again, with the click of a button, everything translated into Spanish. When Molly's caregiver goes back to the portal and instead clicks on number two, the primary care provider plan, now it's going to be the same recommendations, but now it's written in doctor talk. And the hope is that Molly's mom will share this with Molly's primary care doctor so we could turn that primary care doctor into a Down syndrome specialist. So rather than just saying getting the celiac screen, we're going to say what blood work needs to be drawn and how Molly's responded and why it's important to check. Again, preserving that doctor-patient relationship and bringing information and empowerment into that relationship. We've also created a microsite for primary care doctors so that they also could have access to all of the links and the credible information that we've embedded in Molly's mom's primary care uh, and caregiver checklist. After we created this, we also tested it in order to make sure that it was effective and well-received. We're proud that the results of our study has now been published. We asked 230 families from around the United States to test this out, half of which got it, and the other half did not get it. We then followed them for more than a year, and we were able to demonstrate that Down syndrome clinic to you is effective. Those who went through our simple online platform had a 1.6 fold increase in the number of adherences to the common recommendations that are recommended for people with Down syndrome. More than being effective, we also were uh, grateful to see that both primary care physicians and the caregivers also found it satisfying to complete it. And you can see on a scale of zero to 10, with 10 being very helpful, zero being not helpful, we averaged around a 7.8 in both groups. Now that it's done being researched, we have now launched it. Down Syndrome Clinic to you is no longer research. It is out there, it is available, it's live and it's active. We're grateful for Lumine IDSC Down Syndrome Foundation who gave us a generous grant to convert it from a research platform to a commercial platform and supporting our early phases. You can go there right now, dsc2u.org is the platform. It is available to anyone across the globe who wants to access it in English and in Spanish. For each usage right now, it is $49. And when you access that, you will enter in all the information and answer all the questions and you will get that portal. That portal is yours to access for a lifetime. When you want to go back and say, I have new symptoms, I have new questions about my loved one with Down syndrome, it will be a new fee. We're also coming up soon in early 2022 
we will be launching a subscription plan where for a, a one-time fee, you could have unlimited access throughout the year to Down syndrome clinic to you because we know so many parents want to go back as new symptoms arise to see if it has something specific to do with Down syndrome. So please check out our website for multiple ways and multiple accesses to Down syndrome clinic to you. If you are an organizational leader, we need your help. Our goal is to democratize healthcare so no matter where you live on this globe, you have access to the most valuable and up-to-date information. As new research comes out, we will be embedding it in the algorithm so that when you access Down syndrome clinic to you, you know you're getting the most up-to-date information as generated from Harvard Medical School to you. So we need your help though. This is a shared experience. This is a shared platform and it's only with your help that we can continue to make this a viable service. So if you're the head of an organization or a parent, please spread the word about Down Syndrome Clinic to you on social media. If you have e-newsletters, please share the information. We have flyers that you could distribute. And we're also going to discuss how you might give the gift of health to people in your area. All of this is available through dscdu.organizations. Here are our social media posts. If you do follow me online, thank you for spreading the word and sharing the information. We have also have ready to go materials for those of you who are on social media or leaders of Down syndrome nonprofit organizations. If you go to any of these um, uh, links here, you can find ready to go materials that you could share. And we also have an online toolkit with everything written to make it easy for you to spread the word about Down syndrome clinic to you. We also have flyers that are available in English and Spanish for those of you who are going to resume having in-person events with your members. We have this one pager that's easy to hand out or to put into proceedings or hand out when people arrive. You can access it through our website or you can access it through the links here, both in English and in Spanish. And like I mentioned, many Down syndrome organizations say we have no Down syndrome clinic in our backyards and we want to bring the gift of health to our members. And we have an opportunity for organizations to buy discount codes in part or in full to be able to pass along to their members. So many Down syndrome organizations are handing out those codes to their members who then come to our website, enter their codes, and have very little, if anything, they have to pay because their organizations gave them the gift of health. And you can find those plans and those opportunities available here. I wanna thank all of you for coming together. We will make sure that the best in health and wellness information gets to everyone with Down syndrome, no matter where you are. My mission is not over. Our team's mission is not over until we make sure that everyone has access to the best health and wellness information. Please check out Down Syndrome Clinic to you. Look forward to staying in touch.